Hitler, did you? No, I didn't. Good. <laughs> oh, good. You're safe. <laughs> but I, uh, it, was a, it was nice. It was a wonderful, wonderful, very, very big, very big, uh, big league. Anyway, I, I, I had a really good time. Though. I, was, I had this distractor that was going on. We, we had this escalating nuclear confrontation going on in, in Europe with a couple of outlaw states who had a nuke and was threatening to set the nuke off. And so that was the big problem. And then we had this little distractor that in the island of St. Kitts in the Caribbean, there's a, there's a medical school that takes a lot of Americans. I've given the medical school in the U.S. and go to St. Kitts. And so was, there's a bunch of Americans there. And the distractor was that the governor of the island, who happens to be a communist, I was going to take the students and hold them hostage to the U.S. until he got more support to build up his regime in the island. He was just going to take our kids hostage. And we, we had to figure out what to do. And, and we wanted to get the kids off the island in a hurry get them out of here before he was successful at totally dissolving the rest of the government of the island. And it was a complicated problem. And so we, we worked it out as we had a little cell and worked that out as part of the play. We just got that solved. We got it off the plate because that's what a distractor does. And so, okay, that was fun. I go to this job. And in, in September of this job, I've been there since July 1st. And in September of this job, we had called on a Sunday to say, uh, immediate meeting with the sink with the commander chief. Like, immediate, immediate meeting, get in here. Okay. Drive to work, get into the secure area, and get in there and say, well, there's a real problem going on. And the four star says, there's a problem. The governor of the island of St. Kitts has decided to take medical students hostage. And I just went, what's like, okay. Wow, this is weird. And it, it was going down. It was really actually there. So they said, well, you guys, you know, go, go to the planning cell, get some plans. You know, give me the plans. How are we going to get these students out of there? Okay. <laughs> so I, I go on in there. I said, well, Doc, you don't have to come. This isn't a medical thing. You know, this is just us. And I said, well, there could be injuries. You know, I'll, I'll just hang out here while you're making the plans. And so they looked, and they said, hey, if the airport is set up, so that here's the, the airport sort of uh, all the main supplies and, and uh, all the hangars are on one end of this airfield. And you have to drive through the center of town by the governor's house to get to the medical school on the other side of the airfield. So you had to go through town. There's only one road. So you had to go through town. It's a little bit down. And they, they couldn't figure out how to, it's like, well, we can't just drive past the governor <laughs> with a, <laughs> you know, we just, oh, we, with a you know, we just flew him with a C-130 little black airplane. It doesn't make any noise, and it's, kind of, it's really kind of fun. And you, you said, but coming through with the vehicles to get the students, it's kind of a giveaway if you're driving by the governor's house. So they, they said, well, I don't know what we're going to do. We're gonna do. And I said, well, at the other end of the airfield, there's a railroad cut that was put in. It's, it's, it's depressed, and we're going to put a railroad in there. And it never got really done, and you can go to the end of the runway and just park the aircraft, turn around, get the students, bring them down. They can go from the school to the airport in the cut and not be seen and just pop out and get in the back of the aircraft and we can take off downwind. Because <laughs> C-130 will do that. Right? And you can see these planners. Just like, whoa. You're a doctor. I was like, what are you doing? I said, yeah, but it's pulled up. So we got the imagery, and that's why GIS needs to play next year. Woo! Active GIS. Pull up the GIS. Boop. And you guys don't have this kind of GIS. But we got done. You could actually count the toads. And the, yeah, you could count the toads if you wanted. In this well, cup. of course, it's military. Yeah. It's <laughs> like and there's the cut. There's the school, there's the cut, and they go, I'm a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> that was true. Okay, it just wasn't the whole truth. <laughs> so you gotta know how to negotiate. Wow. So the, the four star gets this thing and you know, wow, that's a, that's a great plan. How'd you know that? And they say, well, uh, the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> the doctor. You know, this, this four star is a wonderful guy. He was a four star marine. Four star marine with 
with ribbons that go over to here, and then, then the badges start in the back. I mean, it's just this, wow. This guy says, okay, all future operations planning will include the doctor. <laughs> There's nothing, there's nothing like watching this one. Really irritated. Really irritated for planners. Next is going to say he has a TARDIS. I was going to say, do you watch Doctor Who? That sounds a little bit like an episode of Doctor Who. Really? Uh, I, didn't say, I, I haven't watched Who since Tom Baker left. I like Doctor Who. Everyone loves Baker. I have a scarf. Oh, really? A 12 foot one. Oh, that is so cool. I have a Galaxy Quest patch. <laughs> That's the best I can do. Yeah, I have a bunch of Doctor Who stuff. Yeah. Like, I, I have like um, a Sonic screwdriver remote yeah. control. Yeah. I was asked to crochet a scarf before, but then no one like actually gave me the actual order of the colors, and I was like, well, if you can't like tell me exactly what yarn to use, I'm not gonna do it. Uh, no, it's really. It, it, you know, I, I really like Baker in that series, but some of the other ones got kind of strange. I just I always wanted that Dalek. You know, they've got, like, a plushies that'll actually, like, got a voice box when you squeeze yeah. it and they'll, like, scream at you. I don't think I want to throw it over my house. This Just in case it tries to kill me. Uh, do we have other questions? Is it time to go? It's time to go. We've exhausted our time. <laughs> I definitely recommend watching the news. Just remember, okay? Like, the news doctor. Yeah. I just, you know, I sort of got, there was a step, the replacement for Baker, I just wasn't going to